Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to next match, Cross Banlist Cup. Let's take a look. Last match here, and um, then it's finally time to start off with the top 16 playoffs. So, last match, Group H, we have two kind of big decks, at least for their, you know, for their own time. It's only one year a difference between both these decks. So we have basically almost, almost full power virtual world decklist you see here. There might be some small variations in the decklist, depending on, you know, some newer cards for virtual world. But uh, pretty much at its peak almost with double true king of all calamities. Basically the powerhouse of this deck. It's going to take on another powerhouse. Also a deck that it kind of feels very similar to... Um do this deck to Virtual World? I mean, you know, just pump out big beat sticks in case of Virtual World, it's true King of All Calamities, which is of course much better, uh, uh, potentially much better and, and ward. <laughs> Only one or double true King, because it basically stuns your opponent for their entire turn, while this particular deck having, you know, something like, what is it, the Titanic Galaxy, Colossus on field, um, you know, Agar Pain for the Red Dragon Archfiend level 9 synchro, uh, it's very hard for a lot of decks to come back after that, but looking at both side decks, um, <laughs> I kind of feel that both these decks are kind of similar to power level, and uh, both decks are side decking Lancia, and Lancia is important in this matchup. Stuff like Nibiru as well, obviously. So I get Gamath, and that's kind of big, so I kind of go for like a weakish guard dragon combo with uh, Brotar. Brotar, and this was a dilemma. I, in hindsight, I. Maybe I should have discarded um, the Collapse Serpent Wyvern Burst or combo for next turn. At least that was my, my thought process. And uh, potentially make maybe Saryuja and maybe for Colossus. But uh, eventually went for this route. And you'll see, you'll see. I was like so close to not tribute my uh, Hybridic Seal itself, you know. And uh, just tribute Leviathan here, but I was maybe kind of a bit greedy. Uh, tribute, uh, Heretic Seal, you know, potentially special summoning something from the deck. And I mean, with this board, it's very hard for Virtual World, a combo deck, to come back after that. But uh, I get nuked by Call by the Grave, so that's kind of big. And I guess the, the perfect follow up play, especially after that Desires, I think. Uh, both traps were in the graveyard. So Vermilion Dragon Mag destroying 3k Beatstick, um, Shen Shen attacking, banishing Brotar, getting the level 3 back to the graveyard, and basically ending on your full, you know, your power cards, your power combo. And ah, yes, that's always the case. Like game number one, having those Phantasmes in against the non link deck. I mean, in this order, this. Um, this should be game, right? Yeah, Virtual World can just pump out another true King of All Calamities, I think. Um, yeah, Pop My Levian near Cloud Castle, so broken with the, you know, true King of All Calamities. Another. <laughs> ah, yes. Who's missing this one? Nobody. <laughs> At least not me. So, okay, Thunder Dragon goes first, and you see what's coming. Uh, again, a kind of like weakish board, but I was like, I think I have to go for it, potentially play into it, because. Like, only Colossus is not doing anything, especially against a deck that plays, um, what is it, triple uh, Dark Ruler, or, you know, it can just get rid of Colossus with, with, you know, so many cards. So, I get nipped, but as you know, Diablos itself cannot be tributed by the opponent, I think it is. Um, so, it kind of survives, and this is okay-ish, because, weren't there any other plays? Hmm, let me think, I, I don't think so. Were there? Or weren't there? I'm, again, I have to rewatch it. I don't think so, right? Um, oh, no extenders. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So pump out a couple of level 8s. Oh, my plan here was to go for a rank 8 XC play. Potentially, is, was Titanic Galaxy still there? Probably Titanic Galaxy or the other one. The, I forgot its name. The one that detach and then both players cannot special summon monsters from the graveyard. That's kind of important. But that's okay-ish. I mean, yeah, that's fine against Virtual World. So draw another beat stick, and this is game. This is full power, or full combo, full card dragon combo, and that's more than enough to attack for game. So immediately, you know, whoop, uh, during draw phase, uh, reveal the Lancia, but get nuked by another call by. Like, how lucky can you be? Um, you know, you, I, I think, you, I, because of this, I think you feel you definitely want to snipe the Lancia because uh, desires. Well, this virtual world does run triple this, and I believe the deck drew, like, desires every duel. Uh, so this is definitely a solid board, almost full combo, I feel. If you can pop your own uh, Chao Fang, I believe the name is, you can search the level 6 Psychic. The one that reborns, it's, it's a Psychic, right? Again, it has been a while. Reborn, non-tuner, uh, the special summons a tuner, or the non-tuner that becomes a tuner, you know how it goes. Cloud Castle for the first True King, is it another True King? Uh, no, the level 6 popping itself. Ah, uh, I guess to make your trap life. Okay, that's okay. 
but uh, <laughs> let's face it, <laughs> one true king is more than enough. So no monster effect, at least for darks. And I can't do anything. I can maybe set Nessie, but uh, not Nessie, but uh, Chakalope. But what can I do after that? So a quick scoop. Let's see, game number four. So again, go first. And this is an okayish opening hand, but I get Lanciat. I get Lanciat, and that's kind of huge. That's super. That's huge. And on top of that, my uh, Tsuchinoko gets discarded by its own effect. 25%. Not my day. Not my day. So, uh, no Lancia on my part. No form of hand trap. No material stuff like that. Um, so now I guess Virtual World can pump out. Maybe go for game? I mean, I have two monsters. One in defense. I'm not so sure if this is really game. Ah, one of the, tra um, the other trap is banished. The one that, what does it banish itself from the grave to reborn a monster from grave? I think that one is banished off of Desires. Yeah, it Desires again. Like, must be nice. Must be nice. So, True King is there. Messer 7th for follow up play next turn. Can <laughs> get back Lancia. <laughs> ah, yes. It is le like Lancia and True King. I mean, only True King is more than that. I, I guess maybe, maybe even Lancia. Maybe. I mean, I still had some plays, but. So, uh, it, it kind of feels kind of awkward. Maybe I should have won that first game. But in hindsight, looking at the hand traps as well. I feel that Virtual World had like the slight advantage over Danger Dark World. Looking at Nibiru, Dark Ruler, and stuff like that. And yeah, True King of All Calamities is such a broken card. And looking at one of the previous matches, Tier Element lost against, you know, Virtual World. Because of True King, that, that's how broken the card is. So, okay, first place is known. We have Virtual World taking up first place and Tier Element going with second place. And that means... <laughs> Right side, we see Sprite versus Tier Element. <laughs> because Sprite ended up first place. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, next matchup, uh, we start with the upper side first, at least one duel, one match. And uh, that's Chaos versus Dragon Rulers. This was a rematch from a couple of years ago. So, feel free to leave your predictions. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Feel free to leave a card or like if you enjoyed the video. Leave him signing out. Peace.